Today on the newscast, China plans massive military drills encircling Taiwan, while U.S. officials say the communist regime in Beijing is undergoing the largest military buildup since World War II. Get all the breaking details next. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has now left Taiwan. Along with her Democrat delegation, they have traveled on to South Korea, but the tension between Taiwan and China remains in the wake of Pelosi's visit. China now is planning massive military drills stretching from tomorrow, Thursday, August 4th, until Sunday, August 7th, that will essentially encircle the island nation of Taiwan. Now, Taiwan is saying this amounts to a blockade of their country, and Japan is also expressing concern. Folks, this is all part of China's massive military buildup, which, by the way, includes a major nuclear buildup as well. U.S. officials say this is unprecedented for any nation since World War II. China is obviously driving towards world domination. I do not exaggerate. They see themselves as the successor to the United States as the big boy on the block on the world stage. That's exactly what the communist regime in Beijing is driving towards as they continue to suppress their own people, persecute Christians, persecute the Uyghur minority, and much more. So this is one of the world's top human rights violators undergoing a massive military and nuclear buildup. Folks, this is not good. And we've told you also about that axis of evil forming between China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. I've called this the gathering storm against America. More on that in a minute with a foremost expert on China's military. But real quick, programming note tomorrow, Thursday, August 4th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Finally, we are having our very first premium member Q&A. If you are a Watchman premium member... Join us at 3 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, Thursday, August 4th, and bring your questions. It's a Q&A with yours truly. You can leave them in the comments, as a matter of fact, but also, of course, you can ask the questions live tomorrow at 3 p.m. If you are interested in becoming a premium member, just go to join on our homepage here on the channel and sign up. We would love to have you. Okay, let's go now to the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C., where I interviewed Dean Cheng, a top China expert at the Heritage Foundation recently, and he laid out a very sobering analysis of China's military buildup and what it means for America and the world. Take a look. We're joined now by Dean Cheng, Senior Research Fellow at the Heritage Foundation here in Washington, D.C. Dean, great to have you with us. When it comes to China, you are a foremost expert on that military buildup. How strong is China militarily right now And why the buildup? Not only conventional weapons, but their nuclear arsenal as well. What are they getting at here? So first, some of the statistics. Um, China, of course, is a nation of 1.4 billion people. Its military is correspondingly large. Um, It's uh, almost 2 million. Uh, To give you a sense, the U.S. military in total is about a million troops. Um, They now have one of the world's largest air forces. Uh, one of the world's largest navies. They've always had one of the world's largest, uh, some of the world's largest ground forces. Mm-hmm. We see them deploying space weapons. Uh, and anyone who has been on the internet knows that Chinese cyber hacking is a fact of life. Mm-hmm. Why are they doing this? A variety of reasons. Uh, part of it is they do have the second largest economy in the world. And if you think of militaries as an insurance policy, the nicer the house you have, the nicer the car, the more insurance you need. But also part of it is to intimidate the neighbors. China has territorial disputes with almost every neighbor uh, on its periphery, uh, maritime, land. Uh, So we have seen the Chinese send troops across the border into India, a nuclear armed neighbor. We, if you go on YouTube, you can see video of Chinese ships literally running down, running over Vietnamese fishing boats that the Chinese accuse of fishing in Chinese waters. Uh, The Chinese have built islands hundreds of miles away from their coast in the South China Sea. And they have, of course, the issue of Taiwan, which they claim is a renegade province. And then they have disputes also with the Japanese. So 
What we have seen is a military modernization program. They have two stealth fighter programs. Uh, they are building uh, modern destroyers, aircraft carriers, submarines, uh, as I said earlier, space weapons. So it's a wide variety of systems. And we have detected uh, fields of nuclear missile silos. I wanted to ask you about that, Dean, the nuclear missile silos, uh, China building up that arsenal. I think they've more than doubled their arsenal in the past 15 years or so alone. Doesn't seem like there are noble intentions with that program. It's a very puzzling program. Uh, the Chinese exploded their first nuclear weapon in 1964. In the intervening 50 plus years, they've really only built a handful, maybe 20 ICBMs that could reach the United States. They have more nuclear weapons that can reach Russia, but of course Russia's closed. Um, all of a sudden, they are building nuclear missile silos, and we think that those missiles will carry MIRVs, multiple independent warheads. Um, we know that they are building submarine launch ballistic missiles and a fleet of submarines to carry them. They are even talking about building nuclear armed bombers. To give you an idea of how extraordinary that is, the Soviet Union built only a handful of those. They never really developed an air-breathing, airplane-based nuclear uh, leg of their forces. The Chinese are talking about building a brand new bomber capable of launching air launch cruise missiles. What can be done about it? What can be done to counter this rising threat posed by Beijing? China is trying to get its hooks into the West and the world in every possible domain. When Deputy Secretary of State Sherman went to China and they gave her two lists of things you have to do, you America have to do, you want better relations. Yeah, I mean, they browbeat American officials in those meetings. Absolutely. They clearly feel that they're in the dominant position. But if you take a look at their demands, it's fascinating. It's not just, hey, we want you, know, you to back off your military deployments in the Western Pacific. They said, you have to allow Confucius Institutes into your universities. You have to allow Chinese state-run media onto your networks. Why? Because that's influence. That is shaping the information domain. We want to be able to tell your audience how to think about us, how to teach about us, how to deal with us. It's a very different challenge. It is comprehensive, it is holistic, and it's one that I'm not sure that this administration has quite gotten its head or arms around. Yeah, it's been a sea change from the previous administration to this administration in terms of dealing with China and the messaging in the face of this growing threat. Let's hope they get on the ball with it because Dean, as you just laid out, this is a serious and growing threat. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Dean. Folks, very important analysis there from Dean Cheng. We are keeping a very close eye on China's buildup. Of course, we focus primarily on the Middle East here at the Watchman News Channel, but China is increasingly part of that picture. We focus on global security really as a whole, whether it's China, North Korea, Russia, what's happening in America's backyard, in Venezuela, Cuba, etc., but China is one to watch, including their presence in the Middle East, where last year they signed a 20-year agreement, cooperation agreement, with the Iranian regime. So we're watching it all very closely. In the meantime, quick reminder that premium member Q&A tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Join us here on the channel. Until tomorrow, thanks so much for joining us today. God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, click subscribe, and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications for new Watchman Newscast episodes every weekday.